guys, what's up? CM30 Capstone. This is my CM30 capstone project, and I'm really pumped that CM30 is over because really, uh, really took it out of me here. It's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of hard work, so make sure you, if you're buckling down, you're buckling down. It's like relationship. Takes two to tango. So, I'm going to be going over my courses of CM from grade 10 to 20 to 30. So I'm gonna go over what we did in grade 10 first because that's that's the starting point. That's where we all started and that's where that's what got me here today. Mr. Lundrum props to you. You did a really good job um, raising us as children. You were like my dad for grade 10, 11, 12. So the first thing in CM10 that we did was Photoshop. And like that was really cool. I'm gonna put a couple examples on the screen, like, cause I totally know how to do that. So the first thing we did was Photoshop and it was really fun because you take me or your friend or like yourself as in me and put you into like this like funny picture. Like I did one, it's probably in here somewhere that uh, I was on like a rainbow waterfall, super cool and you can make your friends look funny or whatever and it was just cool to like be able to do that kind of stuff kind of like a building block and then the second thing we moved on to was animations the animations were actually pretty cool too they just like they take a lot of time and a lot of effort but usually in the cm10 one not a lot of people put effort into them but i i think i tried okay like i did a hey diddle diddle one awkward we did at the very end of the semester we started video and audio like what I'm doing here for you so the programs we used were Photoshop Adobe Premiere and Adobe animate so like Photoshop we ready to Photoshop animations and then the premiere is where you put video and audio and stuff together um, so I'm gonna go over a little bit of like planning and pre-planning and production because that's a major part of CM. So CM10, no planning whatsoever. Just wing it, do it, throw it together. No cares in the world, honestly, how it looks or how whatever. Grade 11, pre-planning. Lendrum started enforcing that and I started, okay, maybe my videos could be a little bit better, you know, like if I'm gonna be in this class, I'm gonna do them good. So I'll throw in a little example of like some clips that we did while I'm talking because I'm kind of proud of them. They're pretty fun. We're gonna go over some grade 11 projects because like CM10, boring. Okay, so let's go over like throughout my years of CM like some challenges and how I overcame them. Main ones is when you're in a group. It's really hard to be in a group if you don't have it set up properly and like lots of people don't like showing up and stuff. Anyways. It's not fun when somebody doesn't show up and all the information's on their computer. So like overcoming that challenge, put there's like those, I forget what they're called, but they're like little devices and you can put all of your information and back it up onto this little, it's like a big SD card. And then you plug it into your computer and you got everything you need and your friends can use it if you're not there. Really good idea to use that. Uh, that's definitely one challenge I've overcame. Uh, cameras, they definitely like to poop out sometimes or their battery will die, but that's when you just gotta, in advance, bring an extra battery wherever you're going or bring an extra SD card because it's probably gonna be full just because. And one problem that we had this year, which like we couldn't do anything about it, was we had all of our stuff put into our computer on Premiere and we were like putting our video together and then we'd go shoot more shots, put the video together, shoot more shots, put the video together, blah, 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 etc. But the computer and the program that we were using deleted our whole videos. So beautiful Harmony Granger had to go in there and fix it all up and do that. And like bless your heart, Harmony. Have my skills of video productions developed over the course of my semesters? I say yes. Basically, like, we found 
the cameras that had like the best video and like audio options and we use those production wise I personally was always like really wanting like a good quality video and I know Anna and Harmony did as well and so we would try and put like something really cool together like we always wanted something that had a good storyline and had good shots that flowed everything together so that was like a main point was like planning out the video so that the shots flowed and made sense and that they were just like aesthetically pleasing acting is a huge one if you're not a good actor the video is gonna be kind of crappy so throw your ego aside for 10 minutes put on a costume and pretend to be somebody else be you but somebody else like we did a lot of acting in our videos and like it's definitely nerve-wracking and like not super comfortable but just like get out of there bust it open do it because you're never gonna have to do it again you know what I mean um, for audio production like other besides video audio is kind of tricky and you gotta learn from your mistakes I'm, I, I'm pretty sure because I definitely didn't know anything until audio wasn't there and it was never recording in the first place or you get on there and it sounds like there's static in the background. That's never fun. Communicating with your teammates. So if you were doing a group video, which most of them were except for but we did a TED talk, that one was not a great video on my part because I lost it seven times cue horrible computer problems but communicating with your team is awesome and being able to work together is also really fun and having an awesome turnout at the end like of a video or whatever you're doing is really awesome so make sure you're making storyboard planners planning like a template of like what's gonna happen on what days and verbally and visually tell your partners what you want so that's like video and audio production, whatever, because we started that in grade 10 and did a little bit in grade 11 and then majority of grade 12 was all video and audio, right? So another thing that we did in grade 11 was photography, which was awesome because it wasn't hard and you just had to mess around a little bit with the, compute, the camera and it was awesome. So my favorite part of photography was night photography. And night photography was awesome because I just got to be by myself on the grid road in the summertime, set up my camera, get some, I didn't really get any good ones because I couldn't figure out the settings, not gonna lie. But I did when there was like a giant thunderstorm going on, set up my camera and I got like lightning bolts. So like those were pretty impressive, I thought. So my complaints in CM10 were that there isn't many cons to taking CM, but there's a couple simple things. Like, if you don't know what to do something, there's like three labs on it. It seems to take up a lot of time. That could be wasted. But overall, I had a great time learning new things and making new memories in this semester of CM. Super positive. Got it. We've got um, CM20. I just said CM20 was quite enjoyable. I don't think I'd suggest any changes. I think I had a really good time and I had a good mark. Yeah. Awesome. Now let's talk about CM30. Landrum, we're here, man. Booyah. Knock it. Because it is the end of the semester. Semester two is coming up. We did seven total labs. Seven total labs. And um, I enjoyed every single one of them, except for TED Talk. That was not fun. I would not say do that again because that is one thing I would ask you to change is don't do the TED Talk because it just doesn't seem right in a sense. But I did really enjoy the stop motion. Those are really fun. Like, I'll put a video here because I'm really proud of it actually. Okay, so like that's that. I had a lot of fun. And Lendrum helped me a lot with that one, which I'm very grateful for. 
I want to give a huge thanks and a pat on the back to Harmony Granger and Anna Fox because those are my two right hand and left hand girls. We really kicked the semester. Uh, we did really good. I'm very proud of our last video. I had a lot of fun. And Lendrum, I really hope you uh, enjoyed our video because we put a lot of a lot of hard work into that for you and for ourselves. But overall, CM, I'm really glad that I took it for the three years that I did, like three consecutive semesters or whatever, because it was definitely something new that I haven't, um, that I wouldn't expect myself to take and follow through with because I am not a fan of technology or computers, but the whole video and being with your friends and it's like hands-on, more personal than like sitting in a desk and I really like that about a class is like moving and doing stuff and it's easy but it's it takes a lot of work and a lot of thinking honestly and I just I wouldn't change a thing except for TED talk change TED talk don't like that one anyways out of the seven labs six of them were awesome I had a great time Peace out, CM30. Deuces. Catch you on the way, bro.